So you've bought your ELB 1200, and I'm just gonna walk you through everything that's in the box and a couple of little features of the product that you might not be aware of. So it comes in this lovely carrying case, which let's dive right into it, which has everything quite neatly packed in there. So I'm just gonna take something here out indiscriminately. There's your um, ELB 1200 Pro head. Now you can also get a high sync head, which allows you to do high sync speed, um, and a action head, which allows you to do super short flash duration. But the Pro head is the one that comes standard. Um, there's your regular reflector, quite a focused one, that goes on the front of your head. Let's see, there's the pack itself. Now it has this lovely carrying case which um, has these little straps. And um, if you don't know what they're for, they actually go through the handle and that attaches the case to the pack itself. The pack refers to this unit here, which I'll pull out in a second, you see? So now you have this lovely protective carrying case and it's attached tight, this won't just come out. And um, let me take the pack out and show you what that has. This is all the electronics and the battery that makes all the magic happen. So there's um, huge advantages to having a pack separate from a head. It keeps the head, which is the flash unit itself, much more lightweight. And you can use this even to weigh down the stand. If you pick this up, this is quite a hefty piece of machinery and you wouldn't want all of that weight to be up where the light is. So you have a cable that brings this down to the floor and makes it so your weight is balanced, your center of gravity is um, safe when you're using it on a stand. Um, the battery is at the bottom here and it has um, a lock on both sides. So this little Ellen Chrome logo, you slide it up and down and it actually says locked and open. And the way you do that then is let gravity help you. Put that down on the surface, pull these sides out and lift the battery up like so. And then when you attach it, it just snaps back on and then you pull, push these down on both sides to lock it back in. And now the battery also comes out and there you go, that's the battery. The battery, it has the charging port right here and it has an indicator for battery charge. If you press right here, obviously you've just got this out the box, you probably wanna charge it before you use it for the first time. And it has a USB port, which you can use to charge your phone in a pinch. Fantastic. Um, this one, you have to take it off the pack to charge it, but you can buy an optional studio dock adapter, which allows you to attach it to the mains. Um, it has the, here's our battery charger, which we should probably use on this unit. Very standard, very simple to use. Um, it has a little cutout on the charging port itself so that you can know how to align it on the charger. It's just something that you'll want to familiarize yourself before you charge it for the first time because it can get a bit tricky to attach this to the charging port if you don't have a look and see kind of how it works for the first time. I went ahead and charged the battery so I can show you how I turned the pack on. Let me move this. Um, I'm gonna attach the battery and lock it just like so. I use gravity to help me. Plug that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug the head into the A port and it has a little um, divot there that I'm going to align with the unit on the pack and plug it into the A port and then you turn this to lock it in place. Now I can turn the pack on, just hit that button here. There we go and it's powered on. Now on the ELB 1200 the a and B port are hidden under the handle so they don't get pressed by accident. And if you use two lights, you just press the middle button here. And if you just use one, I put it into the A port. I'm gonna press the A port and that activates the light so I can fire it. I'm just gonna show you. It will fire if I press the test button on the big circle. That's also how you adjust, let me put this down so it doesn't fall. That's also how you adjust the power output of your pack by one tenth at a time. 
And you can also use these buttons to go a stop down or a stop up at a time. So it's super easy to use. And this is actually really, the fidelity on this is quite nice. It's quite a, like you know when you've turned the wheel. It clicks in very satisfyingly. So that's the ease of use of this pack. If you're using two heads, you can plug it into the B port and press the B button to activate it just the same. And I just want to show you that um, I can also do this wirelessly with the included trigger. It's a great pack, very durable, and has a lot of power output. And I really enjoy using it both in the studio and on location. This bag is made for easy storing and everything fits in, but you can also take it on the plane. This battery is rated to fly on most airlines. I tend to just tape over the ports, which is some airline require that, um, and I've never had a problem flying with these. You can also get a bigger battery, which is not rated for flying, but the one that comes with it is. Um, the great thing about the ELB 1200 is it comes with an EL Sky port in the bag. Um, you can also get an EL Sky port Pro, which allows you to use the high sync functions um, of the pack if you also get the high sync head. But this, um, this trigger will let you wirelessly trigger the pack, which has the receiver, the Ellen Chrome receiver, right built in. And on this um, transceiver, you can also change the power of your pack as you wish. You also have a shoulder strap, which is for to attach to here, and another shoulder strap to attach to the case, which makes it really easy to carry. And you have a variety of straps that you can use in a lot of ways. You can become inventive to attach light stands, tripods, etc., to these loops over here. And on the other side, you have um, a large compartment, which is great for putting any flat objects, the manuals in here, um, and these bigger loops, which are great for your um, rolling wheel case on the plane. You can put the handle through the gap here, and it's quite tight and secure and won't fall off. Um, the only other thing in the bag is you have a power cord for your battery. This battery cover, which comes in really handy. I store my batteries separate from the pack. It just clips onto the top of the battery, like so. And a sync cable um, for analog triggering and a waterproof cover for the entire case. That's all in this bag. Quite a great kit, perfect for going on set and traveling. And I've put this pack through its paces. Um, I think we even dunked it in a little bit of water, don't tell anyone, and it worked just fine. I wouldn't recommend it, we did it by mistake, but I really have been impressed with the versatility, the durability, and kind of the power output of this pack.